finding the equation of quadratic functions. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the equation of a quadratic function given its zeros, given the table of values representing the function, and given the graph of the function. This video will focus on finding the equation of a quadratic function given its zeros. Let's take the example number one. We have to find a quadratic function whose zeros are negative 1 and negative 4. Since we know that the zeros of the function are negative 1 and positive 4, we can write x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to positive 4. Now, reversing the process of the factoring method, transposing negative 1 on the other side, we get x plus 1 is equal to 0, and transposing positive 4 the negative side, we get x minus 4 is equal to 0. It means that x plus 1 and x minus 4 are the factors of the function that we are looking for. Thus, to get the function, we have to multiply the two, the quantity x plus 1 multiplied by the quantity x minus 4. Applying the FOIL method, x times x is equal to x squared, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, 1 times x is positive x, and 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Combining like terms, we have negative 4x plus x, that's negative 3. Now the function will be y is equal to x squared minus 3x, minus 4. We can note that the equation y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4 is not unique since there are other quadratic functions whose zeros are negative 1 and 4 like y is equal to 2x squared minus 6x minus 8, y is equal to 3x squared minus 9x minus 12, and many other functions. These equations are obtained by multiplying the equation by a non-zero constant. Thus, the answer is y is equal to a times the quantity x squared minus 3x minus 4. Hence, the formula to get an equation of a quadratic function given its zeros is y is equal to a times the quantity x minus r1 multiplied by the quantity x minus r2 for a is any non-zero constant and R1 and R2 are the given zeros of the factor. Let's try another example using the formula. We have to find the quadratic function whose zeros are 3 and 5. Applying the formula, we have y is equal to a times the quantity x minus R1 times the quantity x minus R2 where R1 is the first zero of the function and R2 is the second zero of the function. Substituting the value 3 and 5, we have y is equal to a times x minus 3 and x minus 5. Applying the FOIL method, x times x will be x squared, x times negative 5 is negative 5x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Positive 15. Combining like terms, that's negative 5x and negative 3x, we have negative 8x. Thus, the final answer is y is equal to 8 times the quantity x squared minus 8x plus 15. And the next video will explain how to get the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values.